We've been collecting for seven years, this is our seventh year, and collected 114,000 bushels so far. Every one of those shells we can grow many, many, up to 10 baby oysters on each shell. So we go out and we go to the restaurants in a particular region and we swap out cans, take their shell, leave a fresh can, and collect once or twice a week, sometimes every other week from the restaurants. Once I started learning about the facts after visiting a couple of the hatcheries on the east coast, uh, the eastern shore of Maryland, what I realized is that for every oyster shell we're losing 10 oysters. So when we started it, it was real easy, effortless for us to transition into. And you know when we're slamming, we're doing these five pound drums, you know, one and a half a week. So it's, it's pretty impressive that, and we don't even sell a lot of oysters here. So that tells you a lot that's going on. I think uh, it's really crucial that uh, to basically bring back the Chesapeake Bay to its glory days. The amount of oysters that we go through at the old Ebbet, you know, it's just, it's amazing that how much we can put back into the bay. Yeah, we actually average about, about 3,000 oysters a day. So just imagine, that's 6,000 shells that we recycle on a daily basis. And we have the easy part. All we do is shuck the oysters, save the shells, you know, we have a system now, after all these years, it runs itself. All the shuckers and all the servers all on board with it, where all they gotta do is, we have areas where they actually save the shells, and once we collect enough of them, at that point where we transport them onto our loading dock, where we have huge drums, just to sort of compile everything on top, waiting for you to pick up. So the shell, after we collect it, we'll haul it to a site like this. This we consider an aggregation site. So it's stored temporarily until the bigger truck can haul this dumpster away to what we call a shell pile or a repository. So the repository is just the aging site for that shell before it can be used to grow baby oysters on the dried shell. And that can be through a hatchery or just through natural planting out on oyster bar. It's not a hard process. Um, there's some heavy lifting, obviously, because the shell gets pretty heavy. But with containers and some able-bodied assistance and some kind of vehicle that can haul shell, it doesn't have to be a big vehicle, only depends on how much shell you want to haul, um, and some place to take it, some place to store it. And we've worked with different people to haul shell for us, but now we do it in-house. But just having a dumpster can be a huge advantage if there's nowhere to keep it long term. Most of them love it. Most of them are pretty much amazed at what we do with it. You know, they're like, oh, wow, this is so crazy that you guys can actually use this to help restore the population of oysters in the bay. And, you know, everyone that I've talked to that's continued to become, be a part of the program enjoys it. They love it. So.